Hi, this is Alishama, and what you're seeing is a regular DJI Flame Wheel F450 or OFM450 or some 450, let's say. It's a quadcopter and it cannot carry any kind of camera gimbal except the OFM SCM camera mount and a little camera under it or it can directly take a GoPro somewhere on it. But if you want to carry camera gimbals like these, like this one from HawaFilm.com Turkey, Istanbul, I believe it will be too heavy. Now sitting next to it is the OFM Seeker 450. Well, I am preparing this one for one of my customer in Canada. It will be ready today. Test fly and set it. Do the size comparison and you can see it's a still a 450 using the same arms. That's why we call it the Seeker 450. Still, aerial photographers cannot carry camera gimbals like this one. Looking here, this is the Lotus RC T5 80P Plus, which is comparatively a little bigger than 450 because it's a 580. Well, those who actually want to carry some good camera gimbals or those who actually love bigger quadcopters, well, we do have the T580P Plus budget-oriented solution, but it's not very stable. Comparatively, a 450 is much more stable with DJI NASA and gives more clear and stable videos than T580P Plus. However, it's a small and it cannot carry camera gimbals. So for those who want to carry good camera gimbals like these or different ones, some more heavier cameras, I'm not sure for DSLR yet, but we have to test it. And for those who love bigger machines, which are actually more powerful, faster, and much, much more stable, like my Videomaker, the biggest quadcopter so far I have, and the most amazingly stable for FPV and aerial filming, even without a camera gimbal. For all these people, we have good news for you. This is F450. Put it aside. We have got the new upcoming OFM Hoist 700. Check out the size on this beast. Now, for those who love flame wheels, you still got the same looks here. Similar looks, similar arms, very very easy to assemble, but it's big, it's huge. It's as big as the video maker right there on the wall. That means you can add bigger motors, bigger propellers 13 to 14 or 15 inch and it will be much much more stable in the air to shoot aero videos even without the camera gimbal however this one the hoist 700 can easily fix the hava film hfx camera gimbal let's take a closer look the frame on the bottom does not have the uh, power distribution board built in or circuits but hey using parallel cables using power distribution boards like this you already have the holes given here so you can easily screw those power distribution boards here and solder your ESCs directly on it still you have lots of space to mount other stuff and then you have a top plate to mount all your electronics and batteries okay but if you don't want to mount your electronics on top use a parallel cable mount all the electronics down here mount your batteries on top of it and FPV system it gets even better with the Hamafilm HFX camera mount using this camera mount all you need to do is simply drill four holes and add these aluminum 
pieces that were supplied with the camera gimbal. Just four screws and you have the camera gimbal nice and firmly secured on OFM Hoist 700. What's more, using this method and Hawafilm HFX camera gimbal, it gives you one more layer down here which is very very useful to mount your batteries. That means if you mount your batteries here it will leave you the middle layer or the top layer completely empty to mount more gear of your choice. This baby is really, really stable. The Hoist 700 with the Hava Film camera mount, HFX. This thing rocks. Simply rocks. Let's see how it will perform on bigger motors and 14 inch props.